today uh, Gerolf Heinrichs has brought us to a different place to fly called Bordano Hill. Uh, it's a bit of a secret spot I think and we're going to take off here and we're going to fly over that way. So. Yeah, this right wing is lifting though. Gerald, would you help me with the right wing, please? Yes, I do. Just hold the right wing down. Thank you. Just need to pull him down. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, and we're going up again. Now uh, we're going up in the world. Up and up and up in the world. So this is where Gerolf has brought us for a bit of a different kind of a task than we will get in the main competition. It's a different takeoff that isn't suitable for the main competition because there's not enough rigging places. And it's a right climb up. Look at what we've driven up. That winding road there is what we have to drive up to get here. It's quite a scary drive up because you're driving directly up a cliff over the landing field well nearly which you can see below me just next to the riverbed you can see the landing field with some paragliders in the landing field so that is the landing field from this particular takeoff so we've crossed the gap and now we're climbing up the mountain Of course, this is the easy way to climb a mountain. We've got Sasha underneath me. Hello, Sasha. So you can see now the big mountain that I've just come across from onto this little hill. Go down to below 3,000 feet. I'm not quite sure what uh, ground like. Foreign get off. Getting pretty low. I'm hoping he's going to find me a nice thermal. Come on, Carol! Find me a nice thermal! Because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh my god! Well, I'm quite low, I'm getting up again. My uh, Vero's been making some lovely trilling noises. It's like a blinking phone ringing. That's because I've been going up really fast. Can you hear it? <laughs> that is so good. So to any hang glider pilot, that noise is 
jealous, aren't you? I just love looking at those mountains. Does that make me a mountaineer? Going up nicely now. <laughs> I wish I could fly right up to the sky, but I can't. You can't. That's a bit of karaoke. There's more to come. There's more karaoke. Oh yeah, listen to that. The phone is ringing. Listen to the phone ringing. It's for you. It's for you. Key thing not to get sucked into cloud. I can see a clear gap out in front of me and I'll head that way when I get up close. Currently at five and a half thousand feet going up strong. Time to leave. Right, time to leave now. 
heading for the sun. Here we go. This is cloud based. So I'm just cruising along now. 4,700 feet. Just sort of skirting the edge of a cloud where it sort of tried to suck me up, so I just went along the edge of it. In and out of lift all the way, sort of kept really high with it, very easy. Heading back towards uh, where I took off from, gradually getting back that way now. Thermaling directly above the takeoff ramp. Not the takeoff ramp, but a takeoff ramp. Down there. for the rough bits. I've, I've forgotten, I've lost my bearings a bit actually. Just having a bit of a play around. Would you look at that? Just see Gerald Flanding. I didn't realise that I was so close to the landing. Well, not my best landing, but uh, it was okay. Uh, I didn't have enough speed on, as Gerolf pointed out to me on the radio as I was coming in. And I also got stuck in the zip of my harness, which 
uh, it was a big off-putting thing but um, came down all right landed safely a good out return flight oh, stunning scenery